Hey guys, Apple Fanatic here, making a video on how to downgrade your um, iDevice. Um, now you might ask, what do you mean downgrade? It's really easy, right? You just hit uh, Option Restore and select the lower firmware. Well, um, if you like me, um, or that I've gotten some questions, um, you have run into an error when trying to downgrade from either 4.1, 4.2, the beta version, um, 4.0.2, down to the regular 4.0 um, and 3.1.3. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. For iPod Touch 2G, it will work with the 3G. It will work with the iPhone, iPhone. It will work with iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. Um, it should work fine. The devices are similar enough. Um, so you're going to need a couple programs. First program you're going to need is this. Oops, not that. <laughs> but you're going to need. Um, you're gonna need a tiny umbrella. Can't find it. Um, I'll open it though. Locations. Umbrella. So you're gonna need to open this. You're gonna have to download this off the internet. Just go to the internet. Um, go on the internet and download. Uh, it. Um, type in tiny umbrella into Google. Um, and you'll find it. Um, you have a Mac version, PC, Linux version. Um, so you'll have no error, no issue getting that. If you're running on a PC, you're gonna need to have Java. Um. If you don't have Java, just download it. It's free. But if you're on Mac, Java already comes pre-installed on the computer, so you're not gonna have to worry about that. Um, another pro other thing you're gonna need is the firmware you want to downgrade to. So if you want to downgrade to 4.0, you're gonna have to find a firmware point 4.0 on your desktop or somewhere that's accessible so you can downgrade. Download. Um, downgrade. Um, so you're gonna need that, and you're going to have to have a iPod Touch. Or iPhone or iPad that was jailbroken on a previous model and had your SHSH saved. If you don't have your SHSH saved, then you're gonna wanna find a method. Um, you're gonna wanna jailbreak it or save it through. Um, you're gonna wanna jailbreak it. Um, check out. This is just for if you've been jailbroken on a previous version. If you haven't been, um, I'll make a video on how to downgrade. So stay tuned for that. But if you have been jailbroken and you have saved your SHSH, um, you know your SHSH, if you don't know what your SHSH is, it is, um, when you open up Cydia, you'll see a tab, oh, I wish I could show you, I shouldn't have downgraded yet, but whatever, um, doesn't matter, you'll see a tab that says, um, make my life easier under Cydia, you click it and it will save your SHSH, which that, what that does is that it allows you to downgrade after, um, so you don't get that error, um, if, but if you have downgraded, I mean, if you have tried downgrading and you don't have it saved, you're going to run into an error. Anyways, um, if there might be a little lag. I had to stop the video, and I show you wasn't working properly. It wouldn't stop, so I'm going to have to edit a bunch of this crap out. But, um, yeah, so anyways, um, it might be a little skewed at this point. But, um, so you're going to want to have your iPod Touch plugged in, or your iPhone or your iPad. And you're going to want to have it jailbroken on a previous version. If you have not had it jailbroken, um, check out my other video. So, um, but if you have, but you don't have anything like this, you're going to want to go down to advanced options. You're going to want to select the firmware on which you saved your SHSH on. So, um, and what you want to downgrade to. So I'm going to hit 3.1.3 and I'm going to show you what it's going to say. It's not going to be able to save it because I didn't save it to, I didn't, um, save my, and it's not going to be able to identify it because I didn't save it to my SHSH to it. So, I'll show you what it says. It'll take about 30, 10 seconds. And it's not going to be able to do it. It's going to try to find it. It's not going to be able to do it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select. And this is what you this is what you run into if you don't have your SHSH saved under Cydia. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the firmware that you have. So let me just um, close out of this. Open it back up. So um, here's my device. So you want to hit Advanced Options, go down, and you're going to want to select the device that you saved your SH on there. So I have it saved for 4.0, 4.0.2, 4.1. So I'll have be able to downgrade to any of these. Well, upgrades. If I have 4.1, I'll be able to downgrade to 4.0.2 or 4.0. So I'm going to select that, and then you're going to have two requests. This request from Apple and Cydia. Obviously, you're going to want to select from Cydia. So then you're going to want to save my SHSH, and it will ask Cydia for your SHSH, and as you see, 
it says sh sh successfully saved. Um, now, if you're on three point, if you want to, if you have it saved on three point one point three, four point zero, four point zero point one, four point zero point two, or four point one, um, four point one really won't be an issue because that's what you're trying to downgrade from. But if you have on any of those, you'll be able to hit select the one that you want it to downgrade to, and then you'll be able to hit save my SHSH, and it, this will happen. It will hit display my SHSH, and it says the following devices will be able to downgrade these uh, safely. Um, the next step is this. You're going to want to have, it doesn't matter if you have iTunes open, um, if you're syncing your iPod, or for some, you want to stop that, obviously, and you're going to hit start the, TT, the TSS server. What this does is it will throw what Apple looks for. So when Apple restores, it looks for their server. What they're going to look for now is they're going to look for their server, but they're going to be redirected to Cydia server, or Surex server, rather. Um, and by doing it, when it does that, you will it will take it thinking it's Apple server. So let's hit start TSS. It's going to exit out of iTunes. You're going to want to open iTunes now. It just kills it mon uh, for a moment just so it can start it, but you can open it up. And then, let's see. I'm not going to sync anything. Done. Don't sync. Painful. Sorry, guys. Um, then you're going to want to hit restore. So, option restore for Mac, shift restore for Windows. Then you're going to want to select the firmware that, you wanna, that you've saved your SH, SH on. So, I've saved it to 4.0. You're going to want to You're going to choose the file, and then it's going to be like a normal restore. Except this time you won't have an you won't have an error out message. So let me open. Let me start the camera. So you can see my iPod is just, it's a clean restore. Yep. And get an Apple. And there you go. And you're gonna get the little status bar. And from there you'll be able to downgrade to four point and you'll be able to jailbreak. Use jailbreak me on any of your devices. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it up here till you see that the uh, status bar turns a little white. Um, and I've had a couple people run into an issue um, where they are stuck at the connect to iTunes screen. Um, at that point, you are actually you actually do already have the surf software on your phone or iPad or just your iDevice. Um, you already have the firmware on there. So you, what you're going to want to do is if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to want to run iReb or one of those nice things City um, Tiny Umbrella has, is you'll be able to click, hit, kick the set device out of re recovery mode. Um, and if you don't want to do that, you can download a program called Reboot Me made by Mr. AJS Tech. Um, you can do that too, but um, you don't have to obviously. So open... Alright, so it's restoring. I'm not going to keep it up. I'm going to stop the video. Alright. Hey, folks. I'm um, back. Um, as I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, I was successful successful in downgrading to 4.0. Oh, oh, let me just prove that to you. Um, well, first of all, there is no game center. But if that's not enough... General about 4.0. All right. I'm going to make a video in the next couple hours or days or minutes, whenever I feel like it really, on how to downgrade from 4.0 to 3.1.3. So um, I hope this was ha happy, helpful for you guys. Um, I don't know if you just saw my face at all that and that little, I don't know if you had whatever. Um, hope it was helpful. Um, stay tuned for more news. Uh, Yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitter and subscribe. I don't care if you write a comment. Just follow me on Twitter and subscribe. And it would be cool if you checked out our website, hackmyiphone.com. That will be in the link. Twitter will be in the link. Peace.